All right, we're gonna make some marmalade. Kick it. You're gonna need nine Seville oranges. They're also called marmalade oranges. Two clementines or tangerines will do. Two Meyer lemons. Ah, oh, it's me juggling, slow motion. Sweet. All right, you're gonna slice these babies up. Wow, looks nice. Get yourself a cheesecloth, cover it over the bowl. Squeeze the juice into the cheesecloth. Next up, uh, remove the pith and the seeds. Then you tie up this cheesecloth into a little satchel. Squeeze out all the juice, which sounds like a Led Zeppelin song. You take the uh, orange rinds and lemon rinds and slice them up. So what you're left with is your rinds, your juice, and this creepy looking satchel of orange guts. Next, you get 12 cups of water and you boil it. You put your pith bag in it, your rinds, and your juice. And you're gonna boil the crap out of it. Like, I don't know, a couple hours probably. Basically, boil it to it reduces by half. At that point, you take out this lovely pith bag. And then you need like a crap load of sugar, like 10 to 12 cups, depending on your preference. Uh, my grandmother recommends using cane sugar. But she lives on Salt Spring Island and she can also afford such extravagances. So you stir that sugar gradually into your mixture and then and then you boil the crap out of it. Uh, probably for about 15 minutes. Make sure you stir the whole time. Probably also want to reduce the heat so things don't get too crazy. Oh yeah, I forgot. You also, while you're doing this, you should probably be uh, sanitizing your jars and lids like boiling them in the water for a while. Okay, so as we're reaching the end of the cooking process, I like to add a little bit of brandy. Just to give it a little bit of extra kick. Some people like bourbon, but uh, the brandy does the job just fine. Then you're gonna wanna do what's called a gel test. Take a little bit of the marmalade, you put it on a cold plate, let it cool down and then a few minutes see if it's gelled and I'll tell you if it's ready for putting in your jars. This is where things can get a little messy but that's alright. You're a rock star. You're making marmalade. Uh, make sure you leave about a quarter of an inch headspace. Uh, put the lid on. Screw it down tight and you're going to want to give your jars uh, about a 10 minute water bath just to Seal it all up nicely, and when you're all done, um, let it cool down for a few minutes, and you have your marmalade. And then you can do what I'd call the marmalade dance.